Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Serena for anybody who's new here. Today I'm gonna be doing a little vlog of a day off in my life. I don't work today. Today is Monday the 16th and I have, this is my last day of a couple of days off and then I work the next three days. So I'm gonna be getting a lot of errands done. I'm gonna be going grocery shopping. I'm gonna deep clean my room. It's about 7.30 and I'm gonna go to an Orange Theory workout this morning, which I'm really excited about. And then I'm gonna be showing you guys a fall makeup look. I love doing makeup, so I'm really excited to share this with you guys. And yeah, I'm just gonna have you guys follow me along for my day and I hope you enjoy. So let's hop into the video. So normally in the morning before an early workout class, which don't get me wrong, I don't really do these that much anymore because the days that I do work, I get out, get up so early. Therefore, the days that I have off, I like to try to sleep and then work out later in the day. So I just had half a banana, I'm drinking some water, had a little bit of coffee, and then I also wanted to show you guys my new shoes. I got my new running shoes. There's nothing like a new pair of workout shoes. I love Asics and I've gotten this brand for years. These are just like the gel. I want to say Asics gel excite I don't know what version they are, but yeah, they're just like an icy gray color They're very comfortable and I'm excited to break them in Hey guys, it's a little bit later. I just got back from my Orange Theory class. It was a really good class. It was a 3G class that's 60 minutes long. I honestly don't even know what the 3G means, but that's just what it's labeled. I had a really good instructor and yeah, overall just I miss starting my mornings with workouts because I used to do this all the time when I was in college. I was on a really good like routine of working out in the morning, sometimes even the really early morning like 5.30 or 6 a.m. But yeah, I haven't really been doing that since I moved into my new apartment and started my job. So it's definitely nice to get back into that routine or just not get back into the routine but just uh do it again because it really starts your day and your week off on the right foot so i'm gonna go inside i'm gonna eat breakfast and i'll catch up with you guys in a bit I'm getting to this a little bit later this morning, but because I had an early workout, um, I'm just getting to my daily planning and my journaling. So I'm just gonna go through my calendar, my little list of things to do, and um, see what I have to get done for today. And then I'm also going to be doing my daily journaling, my gratitude journaling that I like to do in the morning. It, I've been doing it for just about a month and a half now, pretty consistently throughout the weekday mornings, especially before work. Puts me in a great mindset for the day. I talked about that in another video. And then I also have this, so I just answer one question every single day and you do it for five years in a row. And you get to see how your answers compared, they differed from year to year. So I'm gonna get to these and then my laundry is almost dry. So I'm just going to fold on my laundry and then organize my room. Hey guys, okay, so I'm going to be filming a fall makeup look. This isn't necessarily something that I do every day. It's definitely not an everyday makeup look because when I'm going to work, I just put a little bit of eyeshadow mascara on to make myself look a little more awake than I am. But yeah, this is more a makeup look that I would wear in the fall. Maybe if I was doing something on the weekends, going out with my friends, my boyfriend, um, I don't know, just if I had plans. And I really enjoy doing makeup, so this is something that I've been really excited to film for a little while. And yeah, I'm excited to show you guys what I do for my little fall makeup look, my go-to recently. So uh, yeah, let's hop into it. Alright, so I use a beauty blender for my face makeup. I don't put on like a full foundation look. It's That's like so rare that I will use foundation all over my face. More of a concealer kind of person. But what I use to prime my face, what I've been using, is the little benefit oh gosh there it is the professional excuse my nails i need to get those done um the pearl primer it, i just came in a sample and i really like their original primer that comes in the blue tube so yeah i've been really liking this gives a little extra glow and i only put it right here my t-zone because again i don't really put makeup all over my face but I'll just pull the rest of it around my face to blend it but yeah I concentrate it in the t-zone area 
I have pretty sensitive skin, but yeah, I've actually been getting like little tiny breakouts in this whole area recently, which is so rare for me. My skin's been so good for the past year, but wearing a mask every single day at work, this area where the mask goes, I've been getting like little tiny breakouts and oh, uh, it's really bothering me, but whatever, what can you do? So I use the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I do not put this all over my face, actually. You might think it's funny the way that I apply it, but just going to blot that all right here. I actually might do a little more than I normally do just to cover up the little bumps on the side of my cheeks. And then, of course, I scratched my nose, I think, during the middle of the night, so that's there. But try to cover it up a little bit, put it up here. I do like blend out whatever the rest is on the beauty blender to like the edges of my face but yeah I just try to do like wherever needs to be concealed because I don't really use concealer um, under my eyes like I said unless I'm going to work and I look really tired but I just use it on my eyelids I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium sand this is a really full coverage concealer that's for sure so a little goes a long way. I think this honestly might be a little bit too light for me, but I just use it to cover up the veins on my eyelids so that my, and also so my eyeshadow will stay. Then I use this MAC. I don't even know where I got this, but it's the MAC Studio Fix Foundation. And I use it as my setting powder because I just ran out of the one that I have and I happened to find this and it wasn't used. So, where's my brushes? So yeah, I just use like a dense, brush like this it's a very light color so i just use it to set my eyelids i don't really set the rest of my face um because i don't want it to look very matte and i do put bronzer so i guess that kind of works if you want to think of it that way a little under my eyes and that's really it maybe on my nose yeah that's really it so next i go in with bronzer this is by far my favorite bronzer, so I can't really tell in this lighting, but my skin is a little bit more tan, like with the olive undertones, so some bronzers don't really work. Well, maybe more so in the summer, because I have more fair skin right now, but in the summer I get really tan, and some bronzers won't show up, but this Benefit Hula bronzer is the only one that really works. So just take the brush that comes with it, put it in, and go like this and outline my cheeks. And I take this little Real Techniques brush, it's dense but it's angled, and I just put it in here and blend that out. Okay. Then using the same brush, probably shouldn't be using that but whatever, um, I have this Anastasia Glow Kit and I just use this pink color down here. And Highlight my cheekbones. Yeah, there's that. Next is eyeshadow. I use the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and I always, without fail, every single day, use a light pink color on my lid, and then the crease can change, but I'll show you guys what I do. I always use my finger because, especially with the shimmery colors, helps it to stick so much better than if you were to use a brush. There's just so much fallout when you use a brush, so do that. Okay. And then I take a little fluffy brush and go into this orangey bronzy tinted color put it in the crease start from the outside and work in oh that seems like a lot but it's not i don't think and 
Okay, and then I use this darker chocolate color right here. Put it on the outside. It's like a warm, not orangey, but like a warm tone to look. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's good. And then I use, lastly, for eyeshadow, I use this flat tipped brush. And I go into the darkest color right there. Dip it in a little bit. Kind of draw eyeliner on the outside of my eyes. I kind of, you'll see what I do. Just kind of smudge it on the outside. Seems like a smaller step, but it definitely makes a difference in making your eyelashes look a little fuller. I drag it out a little bit, but yeah. Okay. And lastly, curl my eyelashes. I use this little spoolie to brush out my eyebrows. I don't fill in my eyebrows or anything because they're already dark and pronounced. And I tried filling them at once just because everyone does it. I was curious to see like if it would make any difference and it just looked like too much so I just brush my eyebrows out my eyelashes and then I go in with mascara I use the L'Oreal telescopic mascara this is a go-to and then I use some type of um, volumizing mascara with it right now it's a Wonderland mascara by Ciate I could pronounce that wrong but sometimes I like the Too Faced the pink one the volumizing or L'Oreal also has a like a dupe of the Too Faced one, but yeah, volumizing, lengthening mascara, go in with the lengthening first, finish with the volumizing one, so just, I need a new tube of this, so I'm trying to get more product on the brush. I don't know if you guys can be able to see. Okay, and last but not least, I use this little bite lip crayon, I guess you could say. It's in this, like, this color, pinkish, nude, like a deep, I don't know. Uh, I love lip products. They're by far my favorite. So I just use this, apply it to my lips, and then I finish with a clear gloss. And then finish with a uh, just elf clear lip, lip gloss. So yeah, this is the look, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I this is like a like I said like a daily, um, maybe like a weekend look for me uh, during the fall. But yeah, I really like it. It's a very lightweight, and yeah, I think it looks really good. Goes with my pretty much anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I also wanted to mention that sometimes during like the middle of winter when you've completely lost your tan, I'll use these Isle of Paradise self tanning drops in dark. It seems like dark would be a lot, but honestly, this is what's worked best for me and it is in no way overpowering or orange or fake or anything. So really like this brand. I got it at Ulta, I think. And you just mix two of these drops, usually once a day is what I would say. With this, oh, is this going to focus? Yeah, Clinique Moisture Surge Lotion. So yeah, you just mix these two together, put it on your face, and then I use Moroccan oil in my hair every single day. It smells so good, makes your hair soft, takes away frizz, and yeah, just wanted to mention that. Okay, so it's a little bit later. Allie and I are making dinner. We love to do HelloFresh, and we're having chicken and cranberry pan sauce. Allie's getting started for us. Promo code Allie at ALI. <laughs> you can get 50% off your first box of HelloFresh. <laughs> All right, this is the final product. Allie's already dug in, and this is it for this vlog. Thanks for watching. Oh my God. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.